So much love. So, so much, much love. love. They yeah. love you. We love you. Thanks for coming by. Thank we really you for appreciate having it. me. I appreciate you having me here. It's great. Yeah. So tell me about this. You're on this tour, and you guys look like you're having an amazing time. So we you guys are. are actually taking over the show today, basically, which yeah, is yeah. pretty it's amazing. The, it's the Too Fast for Love, Much Music Takeover. Exactly. So tell me about the tour, and how did it come together, and are you guys having a good um, time? Are you taking care of everybody? That's what I want to know. Am I taking care of everybody? Who is taking care of everybody? I feel like you guys um, will get yourselves in trouble. Well, Victoria keeps getting hurt, so... Um, we're trying to take care of her as much as possible. Why? What's up? She keeps falling and hurting her ankle and stuff. And I don't know. If you guys, she has she has this really sexy um, contraption thing to keep her ankle in place. A brace. She bedazzled it. Ah. Yeah, it's really cute. Ladies, ladies yeah, got yeah. style. That's how we do it. it. Yeah, kiss her sass. Oh wow, that's crazy. <laughs> but she's so she's okay, right? So she's good. She's good. Yeah, yeah. Be well. We're take making, care of I'm, I'm making sure she keeps it elevated. And, and That's whatnot. good. That's amazing. Okay, let's talk about this. So, Billionaire, we love that song, right? Do you, you guys, guys like love that it? song? It's everywhere. Thank you. Thank you. So, I always like to go behind the music just a little bit. And when we have you guys here, it's like amazing because people have been listening to your words over yeah. and over again. And then uh -huh. they get to see a face and they get to maybe find out. Here a it little is. Bit. There it is. Wow, what a face. What a face. So then they get to find yeah, out what happens. I'm sorry. Hmm? They get to find out what, what happens behind the scenes. So how did that song come together? Um, we actually, I worked with Bruno Mars on about four songs on Lazarus, which comes out June 8th, which you all are going to go buy. Yeah. And, um, Isn't yeah, that your so, name? Hmm? Isn't that your name? It's my middle name. It's your middle name. Middle what does name that mean? Lazarus. What does um, Lazarus mean? It's a biblical re reference to... Uh, a character in the Bible who uh, died for four, he was dead for four days and he was resurrected on the fourth day. And wow. so it, you can get really deep if you want to, but let's save it for you. Get so. biblical. You have to yeah. buy the album for that. Yeah, for sure. Continue. Sorry. But um, yeah. Um, what was the question again? Well, we were talking. We're no, we we're talking about how you guys actually came up with Billionaire, where the song came. Oh from. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Bruno, you know, we were working in the studio and he's like, I got this song, and he played the hook for me, and I was like, genius, you know. And um, as opposed to just you know talking about how much money I have and, and, you know, like, how much splurging I do. I'm actually a pretty thrifty dude. I'm, I'm not really into, you know, I mean, I say this as I have this sparkling diamond watch on, but I earned this, I earned this watch, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I kind of, billionaire is kind of posing a question, you know, like, if you were in a position and you had a bunch of money, would you be selfish or would you be selfless? And it's just me basically saying what I'd do if I had a billion bucks. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know help out people. That's nice. Yeah. That's great. It's an interesting thing, though, I think, because fame is so interesting and it puts people, puts you guys in such a different kind of a zone. Yeah. But then, you know, I think because you're artists as well, too, sensitivity, and you guys are thinking about things. And at the end of the day, you guys all know this, too, that you don't take any of your money with you when you die. So no, you can't. You, you better can. enjoy yourself. So tell me enjoy about yourself that. Enjoy yourself and, and make sure the people around you are enjoying themselves as well, you know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So uh, we have actually a question in the audience. Tatiana, uh -uh. what do you want to ask Travi? Hi. Hi. Actually, come on over here, actually, because you want to get some some stuff signed so we can yes. do that right now, cool, maybe. Cool. Continue. Fun. What's your question? Okay, um, I wanted to know if there's, like, a catchphrase uh, in your life that defines your life the most. A catchphrase? Um, yeah, I, the, actually, um, I took a trip. Uh, to South Africa, the Philippines, and India last summer. And uh, I came up with this phrase um, myself, because I actually got asked the same question. And on the spot, I made one up. And it was, uh, sp uh, listen hard and speak soft. Yeah, think about that first. That's it. What does that mean? I'm taking a photo of you guys. What does I that mean, mean? Um, as a po you know, as a po sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> as opposed to, you know, screaming to get your point across and, and always wanting to be right, listen just as hard as you would you know to try to get your point across you know? that's sweet that's good advice right yeah. i don't know you can sign that did if that you help? want to quickly yeah it did <laughs> i think that's good that's good it's one of those things though but i don't know how did you get involved in a trip that takes you so far away from your home i want to oh. know that well um, i'm actually the ambassador for uh staying alive yeah, which you. is a uh, mtv's hiv and aids awareness campaign that's so amazing um, yeah yeah we shot a documentary about uh you know what's going on over there and, and people that are starting grassroots um organizations and stuff in their communities to educate people on AIDS awareness. 
crazy. That's really important work. So For it's sure. really great that you're involved in that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. So you're you're contemplating all these different things. You're visiting people all over the world, and you're reinventing yourself at the same time. In so, a sense, so, yeah. right? Because it's sense. like Travis versus Travi. Tell me about that. That's it's not really a big deal. For one, it's just one letter. For two, True. um, I mean, my family and friends have called me Travi since I was a little kid. You know what I mean? So, in a sense, um, you know, with this solo project. I wanted it to, you know, I want, I want everybody to be comfortable with calling me Travi, you know? It's almost like inviting people into the family, almost, you know? Sweet. Um. <laughs> I love that, the, the men in the audience, like, that's cute, man. <laughs> that is cute. See, we're in 2010. Dudes aren't scared to be sensitive and say the word cute anymore. I think that's awesome. Hey, right, that's true. Yeah. And maybe someday soon we'll get to the place where men kiss each other as much hey, as women kiss each other. What, now? women do it? I'm just saying, it's fun. So I was looking at, I was looking at your blog. Do you write a lot? You were looking at my blog? Yeah, do you write a lot? I do. I you do. do, okay, I so do. I wasn't like creeping. Sure you weren't. I was just on there a little bit. I wasn't creeping. And I was gonna, I'm gonna share it with you guys because I found this beautiful photo. Looks like you're in love. Take a look at this photo. You have it? Stitch, is that Stitch? Come oh, on! I am in love. That's my that's my best friend in the whole world. That's Stitch, my dog. I love him so much. He's on, he's actually chilling on the bus right now. I can't wait to get back to him. That's he's funny. the most beautiful thing on this planet. We're getting we're really getting exploring your sensitivity. Thank you for allowing us to do that. He's I really cute. That. He's cute. He's have beyond you, cute. Have he's, you ever written a song about him? I'm just gonna. Ask I haven't you. yet. I haven't yet. You but, um, I mean, Stitch is he's he's kind of. A celebrity now, you know? Like, yeah, he's on television. Yeah, it's weird. I take him out and people are taking pictures of him. And I'm like, cool. Do you want him to sign anything? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I'm trying to teach him how to spell, you know, write his name out now. You it's should. not going too well. That's cute. Or just ink his, his tail so they can just, you know. Or just, you know, stamp his paw and just. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go inside because you have some fans out there. Travis McCoy. <laughs> Hi, guys. I think we also have a question on here. Ryan's been hanging out. Hey, Ryan, what's your question for Travi? So, Travis. What's up, Ryan? Not much. We met you? earlier, man. Yes, we How did. are you? Awesome performance right there. Thank you so much. So my question to you is, like, what's been the biggest challenge that you've had to face growing so far in the music industry? The biggest challenge? I think, um, I would say, you know, coming up with gym, you know, with gym class heroes and whatnot, the biggest challenge was kind of trying to find where we fit in and realizing that we don't really fit in anywhere, which is a good thing, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's been, I guess that's a bit been the biggest challenge, but in the, in the same sense, we kind of nixed it because we don't really want to fit in any category anyway, so. Yeah. Wow, All right. good yeah. question, good answer. Thank you very much, Travi, we really you. appreciate it. Good luck with the tour. Great to have you on. So Thanks cute, guys, we have a lot more coming up right now. Brand new Christina Aguilera. Take a look at this. <laughs> 